hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this session i'm going to give lecture on uh, the second poetry the second unit of uh, the dgbc foundation english 4 the poem is uh, harlem on a winter night uh, this one was written by kofi avnor was an american poet uh, before moving with the session subscribe the channel and uh, Kofi Avnur uh, was a poet and uh, also a novelist. So most of his poems uh, have been, you know, uh, translated and of course anthologized. And he was graduated from the University College of uh, a Gold Coast. You now the name got changed as the University of uh, Agana. And uh, he uh, also studied at uh, uh, the University College uh, London. So he worked at the University of uh, New York uh, for a few years. Then uh, he uh, served as uh, an ambassador to uh, Brazil. Later he was also served as an ambassador for Cuba, then United Nations. The major themes of his works are you know, Christianity, exile, or death. You know, these are uh, frequently seen in his works, in his poems. Some of his poetry collections are like, you know, uh, Rediscovery and other poems and The Night of My Blood, uh, Ride Me, Memory, and, uh, The House by the Sea. Okay, these are, you know, some poetry collections of this poet. Okay, now this poem, Harlem on a Winter Night. Okay, Harlem is a uh, name of a city uh, which is in north part of America. That is the city to where uh, the black people uh, sought refuge. They uh, stay there. Okay. They were driven from southern to Harlem. So, uh, in the place, uh, uh, mostly the Jews people are living. Uh, even the black people, usually blacks are the uh, origin of uh, America, native people of America. But still, they were driven out from southern. And, uh, Harlem is, you know, uh, uh, a southern, I mean, not part of America. There, most of black people are staying there. So there was a movement, uh, Harlem movement was uh, an early uh, 1920s and 1930. Between these 10 years, it was very popular. The movement, which created a, a good platform for uh, the black people to showcase their skills, which are used. Okay, Harlem movement. Okay, this poem, Harlem on a Winter Night. Okay, here it talks about uh, a particular uh, a winter season, uh, particularly in the year uh, 1970. Uh, this poem was written in the sense of melancholy, how uh, the black people are suffering in Harlem. Okay, though the America is a developed nation, a very uh, powerful country, but still uh, the black people were ignored. Uh, and they were sidelined okay so that's why this writer this poet you know uh, an afro-american who wrote this poem as uh, in the sense of uh, melancholy okay so the poem uh, was not divided any you know stanza wise you know uh, there are about 17 lines in this poem now uh, let me read the poem the first line huddled payments dark okay the opening line shows the condition of Harlem district, it looks huddled, payments and dark. Means, this particular place were completely ignored. They, they, they look dark, huddled, payments. People are, you know, in a group, huge numbers. And lonely veil of uh, the police siren moving stealthily across. So, these two lines show that uh, as the pain of loneliness of the people, okay, the police siren here, it is symbolized as uh, the uh, siren for procession, okay, the funeral procession. Uh, it was used in such a way because he needs to proclaim how these people are suffering, the black people in the uh, district called Harlem. And the grey alleys of anonymity, uh, the streets and the, the, the lanes are nameless, means they are completely abandoned, okay, ignored. So, they are uh, asking for food either as a plasma in a hospital jars. So, see the condition of the people. They need the food for survival, you know, not to live. But they are, you know, looking food for the survival. So, they are in such condition. So, it shows that, you know, how these people are completely destitute, abandoned, very poor. They need, you know, food uh, like lifeblood, okay, which is used uh, as a supplements in the hospital uh, handouts, right? So, see, they are in such conditions. They need to be given food. They are looking for the food. So, this city was, you know, uh, particularly, you know, taken for granted by the authority and, you know, consequently, it was overridden by the criminals and gangs. So, 
they have to face a lot of you know uh, troubles you know uh, cruelties they are facing the black people in harlem city harlem district the next line is escaping fires in tenements grown cold and bitter these lines say that you know, escaping fires in tenements so it shows that their uh, the, the the condition of their house it's you no know, very small hat uh, they don't have you know the basic necessary amenities are not given they are living in such a, a small uh, you know hut they, they don't have you know proper shelters proper home so they became very cold means they are suffering a lot uh, even the, the season okay season that kills them already the country and the authority the officials they've uh, troubled them a lot even the season they didn't spare them even the season right the winter season which doesn't spare them that gives them a lot of you know troubles and torture okay it's a great bitter to these people who live in uh, harlem district and uh, the next line okay seeking food in community garbage cans to escape its eternal nightmare so these line gives a lot of you know pain uh, because so these people are being treated as dogs the stray dogs street dogs they're ready to take food even the garbage can they are in such a very poor condition they live like a stray dogs and cats to find some you know solace and you know escape okay in the sense they wanted to live they wanted to keep themselves alive they wanted to keep themselves survival they look for that so here the question comes everyone's mind because is this america why because america is most powerful country so of course everyone will raise a question so when there are people suffering in such condition we cannot call america as a developed nation the the district harlem the dark ridge of america heard that evening look at this harlem is a dark ridge of america heard that evening alleyways of poverty disposition early death so here these people are being completely sidelined so when you look at the harlem you cannot call the district as an america part of america which has got only poverty disposition the possessions of the people are being taken away snatched they don't possess anything which leads the mortality the quick mortality that is early death their possessions their belongings have been robbed been you know taken away from them so that is how uh, we need to question whether it is america or uh, some other country so the disposition early death in jammed doorways and cracking elevators so it shows that these people are completely jammed in the sense they couldn't move freely they couldn't you know uh, look for their uh, life as their expectation uh, the liberation was completely denied for this particular people in harlem district that is why he ends the poem saying that glaring defeat in the morning of this beautiful america america is you know beautiful country so it is not only a a literal okay but uh, he refers the country's economic but the country's economic might be good but at the same time what about the beautiful america where is the beautiful america when there are these many people are suffering when there are these many people are being treated as animals where is the beautiful in america of course everyone calls america is powerful country but when we look at this particular people this particular uh, district it looks being completely sidelined the poet you know emphasizes on the word beautiful uh, is to buttress the at the disbelief uh, that you know he feels the america has a slum even america has poor america cannot be regarded as a most powerful country most economical wealth country uh, if they include this group of people so harlem it, it is seen in, in his own country in, in america itself harlem harlem is a slum where a lot of poor people are living marginalized people are living black people are living so racial discriminations are being seen in america and that's why these people are not given vision by the country these people are not given much important by the uh, government of america that is what this poet uh, kofi abnu shares in this poem okay it was written in the sense of melancholy to proclaim the, the sufferings pains of the people particularly the winter season the year 1970s so one thing we must confess that uh, the growth of a nation is 
cannot be considered cannot be look into one particular part of people so the growth of the nation should be seen on everyone each and everyone who belongs to the particular country only then we can call a country is a powerful a developed country when there are one set of people have grown up the other set of people have not grown up they have been you know, underdeveloped we cannot call a country as a developed nation uh, in america always uh, the racial discrimination exists always it happens though uh, uh, people are talking against racial discriminations still uh, it can be seen here and there uh, because of that only we could see such type of poems are coming if the racial discrimination is being eradicated of course we may not expect such, such poems like uh, this type of poem okay so uh, with this uh, we'll stop the session thanks for listening uh, subscribe the channel